What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing a DIY video, a half DIY video like on my own car. You know, like I said in the previous video, right, I'm going to do a rear disc brake conversion on my Jazz GK, right. So because our local spec cars doesn't come with rear disc brakes. Aside from that, I'm also going to be upgrading the front brakes. So come, let's go check it out. Come. Okay, so as you guys can see, right, we'll be upgrading the rear brakes to disc brakes. Uh, show them the disc brakes. Today we don't have markers, so today Farid is filming for me. So today we're going to be upgrading the rear to disc brakes. So this is a complete rear axle out of a Honda Fit RS Japan spec. Alright, so uh, I got it half cut from Japan. So ini barang second hand lah. Kita beli, so kita kena refurb sikit. You boleh nampak lah, sini ada karat sikit, karat sikit. Come nearer lah, come nearer, come nearer. I just show them the whole thing. Uh, boleh nampak ada karat sikit. So nanti kita akan buat restoration sikit sebelum kita pasang atas kereta lah. So, tak payah bracket, cuma tukar satu axle Siap dengan handbrake cable semua Plug and play With the rear calipers, right? For the front uh, Depan kita akan tukar juga Bukan belakang je So, for the front, we are going to be changing It to a set of Honda Odyssey calipers, okay? So, dia single port Okay, single port Dia besar sikit compared to stock So, better braking power Ini, I rasa plug and play je Tak payah bracket semua Okay, so kita akan tukar ini sudah refurbish ini second hand juga. I actually this is not my first choice ah. My first choice is not Odyssey calipers. Actually, I wanted to put like spoon four port ke endless four port ke, tapi budget tak sampai. Not only about budget ah, I got a super good deal lah. Harga jackpot, so I couldn't refuse. Okay, so these are the calipers, and we'll be using a set of Mini Cooper rotors. Okay, so these are four by hundred, same like the Jazz, two hundred and seventy six mm. Uh, biasa orang guna 282 Nampak lebih cantik, lebih full 11 inch lah But we're going for the 276 Because When I bought it Datang satu set lah So Kita guna dulu, no problem Brake pad pun kita akan Tukar baru Actually I'm not sure what's the brand lah This is some normal brand je But tak apa Kita pakai dulu nanti Baru kita tukar Alright so uh, We're going to start off by Cleaning the rust dulu Lepas tu kita akan Show you guys lah Cabut the stock axle Cabut the handbrake cable Then kita akan do step by step Not really step by step lah We just gonna show you a bit of what we're gonna do to install the rear axle Okay, jom, let's get to work So we are here at Plus Performance So my friend Kenneth's works here Works here lah So it's after hours now Fire, what are you doing here? I want your brakes <laughs> So Fire wants to steal <laughs> my brake pads My stock brake pads for my car Yeah man, so, I'm helping you to reuse Yes, so he's gonna help me Help me inst not install the calipers, remove the brake pads for uh, my own car. Save the earth, save uh, my uh, money. Save the earth. I don't know lah. Can, uh, Nick is here also. Nick is transporting the car for me. His car is not here lah, so we'll show you guys later. This week we're gonna do a uh, jazz content. So, Farid bawa jazz, Nick pun bawa jazz. Semua orang bawa jazz. Betul lah. Betul lah. So, minggu ni. Kita akan buat satu content Jazz GK So I want to interview all these fellas Why they all buy Jazz Kenapa semua orang nak beli Jazz GK I pun tak tahu Tapi stay tune Nanti kita akan tanya dia orang Satu-satu ha, Kenapa dia orang beli Jazz GK Okay So uh, let's not waste any more time It's almost 12am ready I'm going to get some work done on this So hopefully by tonight all will be done Then tomorrow we can do a review Whether is it a lot of improvement compared to the stock brakes. Okay. So in order for us to uh, change the rear axle, right, we have to remove the handbrake cable first. In order to remove the handbrake cable, we have to remove the center console. So I've never done this before. I've only watched a bunch of YouTube videos actually just now on how to remove the center console. Lah. So as far as I know, one bolt here, here, over here, one bolt on the left side, down there, one bolt on the right side. And I think there's one underneath the, the 12 volt uh, socket there. Lah. So, then this comes up, okay. It's either we remove the whole thing or we just lift it up enough to get underneath here and unpin the two cables. Then we can release it, lor. 
that's the only thing. Uh, everything else has to be done outside the car, like, on the bottom. Uh, yeah, I think we should be good to go. Hopefully, we won't take too long. La. And hopefully, the front calipers fit. Because honestly, I'm not too sure if the uh, Odyssey calipers will plug and play or not. But as far as I know, should should be able to. La. So, kita tengok. Uh, kalau boleh, then buy. La. Kalau tak boleh, I guess we have to find other calipers. But I think it should be okay. La. The guys are looking for some stuff. Kenneth is banging the crazy beats. La. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but... I'm inside the car now, so let's get to work, let's get jamming. Alright, so after removing center trim, I mean this cup holder part, this part, um, you have to remove this cover as well, this cover just pops off, and um, if your car is an automatic, then the shift lock cover, so you just get out the thing, then it pops off. Bottom here is all just clips, then after that, oh, let me show you guys, this whole thing will just, yeah, there you go. Okay, wait, I need to give you guys a better view from behind now, then you can see the handbrake cables down here already. Right okay, so the brakes is on, uh, but on, like crazy on. Yeah, so but then we have an issue here, right? Because we don't have the the ring, the centering ring, so it's not so centered, but... I don't see the issue. Kenneth doesn't see the issue, so... I'll trust him lah. Uh, we, we drill the spindle. No, no, no. Then we center... We don't drill anything. <laughs> we P and P it. What the fuck, right? It's almost P and P. Almost ah. Tapi belakang okay aja? Boleh lah. We're not talking about the camera, talking about it. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Now mind lah, so we can lah, right? Like. So we just... Okay lah. It's on. It's on. Then we see we like... I see <laughs> slam it like you know <laughs> can't not low enough mm -hmm. making me upset la. <laughs> okay now we get the brakes done first <laughs> so the rear um everything has been dismantled the cables the calipers the disc then we're gonna hopefully get it installed la. yeah don't use this here okay this the existing one that so means we mod the caliper there. No, we don't mod. We just install it there. What makes this a disc brake? Uh, a disc brake where I can... Okay, la, we so try we that. Take la. out that and put it on your car. Okay, la, we try and that. that because yeah, la, you said that the caliper is a bit... The, the, the seams are rusting out also, right? No, I mean, if it's rust, it's fine. La, but it's fitting, you know. Especially fitting... Oh, like okay. Here all is fine, la, but fitting at the well is a bit worrying. Okay, yeah, here, all right, I can see. All right, yeah. here, so, okay. So, yeah, so we see if we can move everything. Okay, so we see if we can move everything onto the stock rear axle. Like, if we can do that, then we won't use this. We just take out whatever we need and we just throw this shit away. La. One hand, the sledgehammer. Ah, can I, ne? You don't need to snack. Patrick also here, suddenly. I just don't know why. Well, <laughs> working is still here, but okay lah. Lama tak jumpa ni. Ah, budak ni. Ingat dah dapat free break pad je. <laughs> oh, but it looks better now, ah. Quite sizable. Good, good, good. This car needs a refresh. Look at this, oh no! We got bubble here, but it's okay, we're gonna get it done, you know, we're gonna prepare this car for this year's Honda Fest in Bangkok. Because this year, we'll be going down full squad, lah, guys. I think seven or eight of us are all driving down together. It's gonna be bigger than last year, we're gonna have fun. Really looking forward to it, actually. It's gonna be December as well, but not too sure the dates, but I think it should be the same. Lah. Uh, Bangkok or Pattaya, I'm not sure. I heard maybe Pattaya, so let's see. Also, I got new fog lamps, lah, guys. The Koito Blues got this for super steel price, and they look so cool to me. You know, uh, maybe we'll change up the front end and the headlamps, maybe, but that's for another video. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm thinking about going Jay's Racing front bumper uh, with the grill, obviously, because I'm changing the whole bumper and the headlamps. You guys will see. What do you guys think? You think I should keep the stock bumper look with the Valiant front lip, or should I go for the Jay's Racing front bumper for this year's Honor Fest? Tell me what you guys think in the comments below, lah. Okay. We're working on cars. We gotta get a beer, lah, guys. 
one beer then we continue so really i don't know Kenneth said you know we're gonna try to modify the i mean we're gonna try to use whatever parts of this exo and fit it here so i guess this is going to be an experiment la. i don't know if it's going to work or not we're going to use the calipers we're going to use the disc we're going to use the handbrake cables but we're going to retain the stock exo that came with the car so i'm not sure if it's going to work but if it works it saves a lot of hassle and also we can keep don't know how fresh the stock exo is i mean i bought this car brand new la, so i would like to keep the stock exo if i could as compared to using this rusted up beat up one from japan la. to me jdm kata honestly aku tak kisah Janji, the better condition one is on my car. I'll be more than happy to use it. Now. So let's see how it goes. So far, it's installing the new uh, upgraded calipers. But why is there another caliper there? <laughs> why got two calipers? Should reuse it, right? Then put it right here. So we put one here, one here. Then you have handbrake at the front. Wait, so when we break, then the car go like that. We can't. Ah. Wait, okay, okay. I think only McLaren can do this, huh? First Honda Jazz with two calipers in front, lah, guys. First in the world. Twin pot and twin calipers. <laughs> so, Faris is going to show us the difference between the stock caliper that he's holding right now and also the uh, Odyssey caliper, lah, the 17 CL. So, kita akan tunjuk per berbezaan antara dua caliper. Okay, Faris. Okay, so, this is the Jazz caliper. I just removed. You see the serial number here? What uh, is this? It? is a K15. Okay. So Odyssey punya 17CL. Ini K15. So this is a Odyssey 17CL. Bigger caliper. So bigger pads, bigger diameter in the disc. Let's see it side by side. Um, about one inch difference in terms of caliper size. Okay, so not huge difference lah. Not huge difference but it's bigger. Otherwise. Okay. Then what about the disc? Jom kita tunjuk disc. Where is this? I think it's on the floor lah. Ah, over here. Okay, so I think the stock Jazz punya this is 262mm if I'm not wrong. So usually people will go for a 282mm uh, or 288. I think a 282mm 11 inch disc but we have gone with the 276 lah. So we can show you the difference. How many mm is this? this? Did you buy? 276. 276 because this is actually not a Honda yes. disc. It's actually from a Mini Cooper because it's easier to install because Mini Cooper, Mini Cooper comes in four lug nut pattern we we'll just directly bolt it into jazz lug nut pattern instead of buying Odyssey disc brakes and having it drilled there's nothing wrong with that but we decided to go with the Mini Cooper disc rollers so uh, why actually we cannot put Odyssey disc brakes like Odyssey disc rotors who say cannot because but you said uh, 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 okay okay why 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 cannot first well, why do we have to drill the Odyssey when your rotor but this is a four lug nut pattern and Odyssey comes in five. Uh, so instead of taking the Odyssey rotors, sending it for drill, how about we just buy something that is existing within four lug nuts pattern? Uh, okay, so you heard that straight bolt in so we don't have to drill the rotors because it's a 5 by one four. Uh, our judges all come in a 4 by 100 bolt pattern. Okay, so now we're going to compare the differences in size. Actually, comparing the rotors side by side. Quite significant difference, right? Yeah, fill up the, your 15 inch wheels. So it's gonna look cool also, lah. It's gonna stop better as well. Of course, uh, stop better. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> this fella, 2 a.m. This guy look at him. Yes, I've heard. But it's okay. Kalau dia join Honda gang, kita mesti support dia. Yeah. FK7 manual, lah. Jangan beli auto uncle. Okay, so the stock drums are off. It's hanging there. We already released the handbrake cables. Bottom here, two bolts on each side, and from the interior. So now we're gonna try to see if we can fit that onto here. <laughs> we have came to this. Dude, this shit is connected straight to the gas tongue, lah. Wait. That's why we need, we just need the plate. That's the old hub. We don't need the old hub because apparently it's the same as the stock one. So, oh dude, we went through a lot of shit just to remove that. Just now also, we had to remove the hub from this as you saw on 
never whipped out a flamethrower because it's so seized on there. It's crazy, man. We had to use a mallet. We had to use this air hammer and everything. But we got it out now, so now we just have to remove the plate. And then we can use it back onto the stock hub. So hopefully all is good. Day two, we are back here again. Um, the brakes are installed, but we had some issues with um, basically missing some parts. Uh, the caliper clips wasn't there, so the brakes was making crazy ass noises. Uh, so we already got the caliper pins installed, clips all installed today. So everything should be okay. Uh, then we can start building in the brakes properly, and all should be good. Uh. And uh, Farid is still here. I mean, he's here again, not still here. We went home. Got new hair. Yeah, you got new haircuts. New hair. Removing hair is new hair. New hair, yes. So what are we doing now? Uh, we're doing well, some... Other than getting the completed hardware for your brakes, you decided to lower your car, right? Yeah. So now we're adjusting the body shift. So we're lowering the car all four. Okay, so we'll see how it goes after that. Lah. Because I'm uh, not quite satisfied with the fitment, so we're going to lower it down a little bit more, maybe by an inch. Should be good. Let's go. Let's go. Come, check this out. Is there any light? No light. But it's okay. Snack style. I mean, like, there's still a bit. Still a bit more, like, almost. But we wouldn't want it to, like, touch it. Yeah, almost max low. Almost. Yeah, that's our base. Yeah. Using this measurement. Go on, man. Professional suspension adjuster. Let's go the other side. Let's go. Alright, guys. So it's been. Two days later, after I installed the front and rear brakes, after I've upgraded uh, the front and rear brakes, alright, so I've already driven about 200 km ready to bit in the brakes properly. Lah. So uh, I think it should be almost there already. I won't say we're 100% there. Yeah, because my friend told me to slam super hard on the brakes lah, towards the end to activate ABS and all, but I uh, haven't actually done that yet. So. We'll probably bid it in a little bit more, you know, but um, you know, I'm just gonna do like a short review la, on uh, my thoughts on you know how the car performs after the brake upgrade. La. So overall, you know, after driving it around for the past two days, it is definitely better. La. All right. Uh, the initial bite is not as good. It's a little bit spongy because I think we still have to bleed the system one more time. I'm sure there's still some air. Okay, but see, we're approaching a toll, so I'm just gonna like. WC. So the initial bite is not as good as before because um, I mean before that when you know I had the stock brakes that I black them out then it was uh, very solid like now it's a bit spongy but then um, Kenneth, like, Kenneth told me that uh, we have to bleed it one more round one because there might be some air inside the ABS pump as well as in the brake lines like, so we'll come back to that you know we will do that later on um, but the, the how say Initial bite a bit spongy, but after that, when you go deeper into the pedal, you can really feel the um, how do you say the upgraded clamping force, lah, right? The, the 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 bite is a lot better. I would say twenty, maybe maybe about thirty percent. You know, not like crazy amount that you get, lah, that with uh, using a four port or uh, you know high performance brakes, right? Because these are after all still OEM Honda brakes, so they are just bigger in. Uh, Rotor size 276 versus the 262 standard that come on the Jazz and also it's still a single piston Slightly bigger piston, not too much of a difference, slightly bigger And I'm still using stock pads, uh, OEM pads, OEM rotors and also OEM brake lines lah, Which I will change it up later, I plan to get some at least maybe some 500 or 600 degree pads Maybe I'll get Nexters um, Steel braided hoses are definitely on the way for the front and the rear lah, right then uh, the these maybe I won't upgrade for now lah. I feel they are sufficient lah, for daily driving okay so the highway is a little bit clear now maybe we can test the brakes a little bit lah. so we'll just get it up to maybe a hundred then we'll just slam a little bit on the brakes lah. not too hard okay lah, 97 idea is fine lah. okay we slam like maybe 60 percent so you see, like the initial bite is not really there, like the first, I would say one second, but towards the end of the pedal, it really, you can really feel it lah. 
so hopefully that will be improved because uh, I'm still using the stock uh, master cylinder right but there's actually no real need to upgrade the stock master cylinder like, I think it's enough for this uh, what do you call that for this brake setup so we'll just bleed the fluid one more time then should be better like. as for the rear disc brakes to be honest um, I think if I wanted to feel the difference I should have just did the rears first um, you know then compare it like, you know, the, from swapping out the rear drums to the, to the disc with the stock front calipers that came on this car then maybe we can see a slight improvement but uh, I just didn't want to do it two times la, so I was like okay la, since we are there already kita just buat satu kali je lah tukar belakang alang alang dah buka kan kita buat depan je lah satu kali so tak payah back and forth back and forth so sorry guys I can't really tell you if the rear brakes make a huge difference or not I'm sure ada lah I'm sure got lah just a bit lah a bit lah a bit lah you know a bit on assisting lah right yeah and also by the way good news lah guys uh, I didn't have to use the stock rear axle I mean the JDM rear axle that was rusted out like mad balls la, like the seams were rusting and all sometimes barang half cut la, even though it's JDM doesn't mean it's better alright because it's old already ok we are approaching another toll we are going to slam on the brakes a little bit more ok initial alright you see so not bad la. I mean um, I like it I feel it's a lot better ok dash highway mahal la, toll there Okay, where was I? Yes, the rear axle. So yeah, we managed to um, use all the parts of the JDM disc brake axle and transfer everything to this stock axle. Okay, my stock axle that is in mint condition because my car is only two years old, lah, right? My God, these rumble strips, I tell you. Okay, yes. So uh, the only one downside is because I think the local spec uh, rear axle on my car is a little bit wider compared to the JDM one so the wheels poke up slightly bit more now because uh, in order to install the caliper right we actually had to fit on the, the bracket okay so it's um, it's not a custom make bracket it's the bracket that I pulled off the JDM axle all right so that was a 3mm bracket so it actually pushed the rear wheels, rear wheels out by 3mm lah which gives you a little bit more of a flush look with the fender not exactly what I was expecting um, that was not intention anyways lah right but yeah overall the car looks better now lah I'll show you guys on the outside lah later on um, how much difference the front brakes make with about a 12mm rotor upgrade and the rears obviously they are disc brakes lah so you know drum to this is going to be a huge difference but they are super tiny lah guys super super tiny uh, rear calipers but it's okay lah at least you know it completes the look it also helps with some braking power overall i'm satisfied you know if you guys want to go for a more budget uh, front brake upgrade you know i think this is uh, quite good this uh, honda 17 cl caliper that comes in the odyssey the accord uh, the accord cl9 or cl uh, sorry yes correct cl9 so these are um, I need my hand. I need to get a phone holder. Yeah, so these are uh, I, I would say it's a very good upgrade lah for the price. You know, um, you can get them anywhere from three hundred ringgit just for the calipers itself that would need some refurbishment lah. But if you guys are handy with the DIY, you guys can do it yourself. On huh? it's actually quite easy because uh, my friend that sold me these front calipers, Alex lah, you know the one with the turbo EK, he actually bought it and refurbished them himself. Alright, but if you guys want to get that those that are ready refurbished, plug and play, you can get it. I mean, I've seen anywhere from 600 to 800, about there lah, 600 to 800 ringgit. Siap pasang with new rotors, new pads. Yeah, so it all depends on you guys. If you guys want to save a little bit of money, you guys want to DIY, then you guys can just buy, uh, you know, a quite... Uh, uh, a pair that needs some work lah then you guys can do some refurbish, uh, refurbishments on it because the refurbishment kits are actually not expensive they are about 100 ringgit give or take right and installing them are super easy like it's just as simple as removing two bolts off the stock caliper putting in the aftermarket caliper and just installing that two bolts back so it's literally plug and play 
simple as that so i think it's quite a good upgrade lah for you guys that want um, better braking power you know but don't want to spend too much money you know you guys don't want to spend three four thousand ringgit for a four port caliper you know uh, like uh, like spoon endless or uh, brambles or whatever you know so i think it's a good upgrade because let's be real like you know, our honda jazzers honda fits um, they're not high powered cars so you don't actually really need a four port um, because it's more than enough like even the stock brakes like you know those people that run mcs in Sepang, right um, you know door to door racing series they actually use the stock calipers only they just upgrade the discs the pads uh the lines and also the fluid and it's more than enough but of course if you ask me i like the whole four port look like it makes the car looks so much cooler you know and i'm sure most of you guys can relate to that lah. but unfortunately um, a little bit of a budget constraint all right so odyssey calipers it is and i'm quite happy with it you know it looks a lot better as well to be honest under the 15 inch right really makes the the wheel looks full lah. all right guys so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video lah, this diy video you know next week we're gonna have another diy coming um you know we're gonna do some small affordable mods that you can just do at home you know so stay tuned for that um this week is going to be a busy week lah. we have retro havoc coming this week um we have a few cool cars to shoot tonight actually i'm going to go shoot three super cool jdm cars lah, that you guys you know you guys should enjoy and tomorrow night we have a honda meet the guys from honda fest thailand is coming down to malaysia to attend retro havoc you know so at the same time we're going to do a pop-up meet tomorrow in kl lah, guys so you know there'll be content coming this whole week you know this whole week is going to be a busy week you know we got content going back to back then we'll go back to the usual car reviews lah, right so you know uh enjoy you know i'm going to take some b-roll for you guys just to check out the 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 brakes right so enjoy that you know we'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching don't forget to share with your friends you know like comment subscribe please you know thank you for your support see you guys in the next one peace out